Ijin, let's move to the Upper East region. And Navrongo Central in the region is a swing constituency. The seat has been occupied thrice by the NDC and four times by the NPP. This year's election opens a new chapter as for the first time a female is in poll position. The regional minister, Paulina Patient Tangoba Bayegi, is contesting NDC Samson Chiragia. Peter Kwadato assesses the chances of the two candidates. The National Democratic Congress, NDC, won the Navrongo Central seat in 1992, 1996 and in 2012, while the New Patriotic Party, the NPP, won it in 2000, 2004, 2008 and in 2016. Two by-elections have been conducted in the constituency, one in 1995, which was won by an independent candidate and the other in 2003, won by the NPP. This year's election opens a new chapter for the constituency as for the first time a female is in poll position. The Upper East Regional Minister Paulina Patience Tangoba Abayage defeated the incumbent MP Joseph Kufiada in the NPP primaries to face NDC's Samson Tangobu Chirangia. I'm an accountant. I'm a busy for almost 50 years as an accountant. So I know how people struggle to pay their fees. People do sell their bullocks to pay their war school fees. Now you don't need to do anything. Look, your books are given to you free. Your uniform is free. Look, do you know that they, they, they even take sardine now and put pot pepper kink with kinky? So with, with that, you can imagine what is going to happen to the North. Education, you're going to bring the guys to the North and the South. The mid factor that they're building, but I mean, when you get there, you realize that it's just a, a pork <laughs> center and the man is not going to get the market. They've not done anything for it, and they don't, they don't deserve to. The only thing they did for it is to change in the UDS, renaming it to uh, Tedan University. And I don't think that is enough for them to win elections. And their candidate cannot win elections. The two parties have been debating over which is more development oriented. Anybody who is saying ongoing is, is, is alien to our culture, then the person had, had come from mass. Free education. Immediately, the Nado won, free education started. And that one is ongoing. We have continuous song. Our senior high, the dormitory complex in the classroom have been completed. The traffic light we just saw. The stadium I'm talking of almost done. A lot of projects, business schools, a special of check compounds is there. If, if, if I have informed me earlier, I'd have, I'd, have, I'd have given you the list, and even with a digital address. If, the, if Rome is not built the day, and Rome should be built when you are seeing that you are leaving power, and you have not started Rome, when we can we finish the room for everybody? But I'm saying that the issue is not about cutting for the issue is not about now bringing people and try to make things very difficult for even people to move. It is very clear that you are coming to do it because of those. And the people knew. The asphalt road you see, they were done by NDC. There are so many projects that we have, can count. They say they did it. We have done this. The Vrongo people are on the ground. So they can mention 100 projects to you. But the Vrongo people also know that after 2016, what was completed by NDC. And that is the comparison we will do. And they will not vote for them. But what would inform the decision of potential voters on December 7? Look at our road. If president is coming, they will go and grade the road nicely. When president come and pass, we don't see the, be the benefit of the road. And the reason why I'm voting for that party is that I know that when they come, everything will be new, like this commercy, like the commercy central market. Disappointment, because the current situation that we are in now, what we were expected has not been done, so that will make me to change my mind and vote for a different party. Because of the free education, me, I can't pay my children's school fees, but because of Akufuodo come, I may pay my children's school fees. I have two doctors, they are all of them go to school, free. As a teacher, I have to look at the development of my students. So I need school infrastructure, like buildings, Etc. In terms of the health infrastructure, some has been done, but more needs to be done. So they've done their bit. People have done it before they came. They've also done it. Whether you vote or you don't vote, Ghana is the same. Whether it's MPP or NDC, there's nothing we are seeing. Every time it's like that. Whether if you vote for them, it will be like that. If you don't vote, it will be like that. So even voting self is not in my mind. One of the 
most challenges is bad roads, especially the uh, Naga Pulubu Road. That road is very, very bad. And for a long time, no party has, political party has rose up to address that problem. They only make empty promises. And in just eight days, we will find out who would eventually grab that Navrungo central seat. That's all for Mission this evening. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from the UK's Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office as well as the EU. We're going for a short break when we return this morning.